Welcome back, everybody. We're going to fix up the medicine machine as soon as we find the part. It sounds like a job for Scooter. He's a lot smarter than I am. And the big nothing. Story of my life. The big nothing. And here's the part. Fix up the medicine machine. Nasty critters. There's nasty critters. Take that, nasty critters. And the part and the machine is repaired. You need something? You can call me Zed. Everyone else does. Huh? I might not have a med school degree, but when you get shot, you'll be happy. Oh, I I'm got here. to buy a shield. I keep the medical equipment working, more or less. I told you I wasn't too bright. A healing shield. Well, thanks for the help. You ought to use the machine to sell some things you don't need. Didn't buy first aid kits to use on the field. I might not have a med school degree, but when you get shot, you'll be happy I'm here. Blind in nine toes. But now we got us up. People don't yet trust you. If you're going to ever find the vault, you'll need the aid of the people. Helping Dr. Zed with his nine toes problem is a good move. Blinding nine toes is the next mission. The first part we got to eliminate some bandits, some bad guys. First, we're gonna do a little farming. And off to Tartarus Station. Maybe Scooter will be around there somewhere. A little bit of loot. Our story began when the Hyperion Corporation decided they'd had enough of the treasure hunters. With the vault on lockdown, they had served their purpose, and now they were a drain on the economy. 
Why pay full price for weapons when you can take a five-finger discount off the nearest corpse? Hyperion was looking to clear up the drain, but those guys were one tough hairball. I thought you said the treasure hunters were the drain. Now they're the hairball? Uh, well, yes, uh, you see, the treasure hunters were blocking the flow of, uh, uh, and the grimy buildup of money and... Uh, this metaphor stinks. Uh, uh, shut up! Point is, Hyperion had a plan. The treasure hunters could handle all manner of beastie, bandit, and battalion, but they weren't expecting the interplanetary ninja assassin claptrap. This claptrap was programmed to take our boys out indirectly, trapping, poisoning, spreading catty rumors around town. Nothing was off limits. He was smart. Too smart. He looked around and didn't like what he saw. Claptraps being subjugated, humiliated, obliterated. What we call programming, he called slavery. So, he rallied his fellow claptraps and turned them against their corporate masters. What started as a rebellion became a revolution. And take a wild guess who Hyperion called to clean up the mess. Scooter. You're not Atomic scooter. to power, turbines to speed. Ooh, I wonder what this does. It's Dr. Patricia's Tannies. You're from off planet. You smell oddly. We'll speak again. Open sesame seed. Open sesame seed. I'm sure we will talk again. Yakety yak, yak, yak. Okay, try again. Hello there, good friend. I'm going to need a nuclear reaction to Are generate you from the one these parts. Oh, hey, hello. Welcome to my secret lab. Secret lab? Terror pavilion. Yes, I like that one best. Hey, you look like you're into experimentation. Maybe you've dabbled a bit in college. Head down to the Hyperion dump to find parts for my totally legit, in no way morally reprehensible secret project here. There should be plenty of scrapped claptraps ripe for the picking. Sure are a lot more of the buggers puttering around. It'll be easier than stealing candy from a dead baby. And talking to Dr. Patricia opens the door. I told you I'm not too bright. We got this a sniper rifle that's got fire. We's gonna keep it. A burn and sniper rifle. I'm a hunk of hunk of burn and love now.
And some more weapons. An incendiary shotty gun. Because it's a world where people talk but never say anything. <laughs> 